Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a car boot loot video and uh, it's been a very long time since I've recorded one of these um, and the only reason that I can have for that is because I've been lazy and also um, car boots have kind of slowed down a lot and I'm working on weekends now so I struggle to go. Um, but I will try and still go to the ones that are still open sometimes. Uh, but anyway, I have some items that I just have had for ages, but I just have forgot to record. Um, so I will show you all of those in this video, and I've got another video which will be out hopefully next week, um, which will be the uh, some more stuff that I forgot to record before. Uh, unfortunately, um, I've I have picked up some other stuff from the car boots, but because I haven't recorded the videos, um, and then they've sold on my Depop, I haven't got them with me anymore. Um, which is unfortunate and same with some thrifted stuff I have some really dope things that I just haven't had got into a video because um, I just haven't recorded one which is a shame because uh, obviously I want to show you guys like the best things that I find but uh, it's just how it is I just need to be more prompt with when I record my videos but anyway we'll get into the items now guys hope you do enjoy the video okay guys so this first item is actually a pair of y3 shoes and um no they're not like the best shoes that i've ever found in my life um but when i saw them and for like i managed to get a deal with a load of other shoes which will be in the next video um i yeah i managed to basically pick up three pairs of air max for uh three packs of three um, three pairs of Air Force Ones, uh, so I picked up a high, a mid and a low, but the low is a special edition, but that will be in the next video. Uh, the other two sold unfortunately, and these um, <clears throat> I picked up as well in the same in the same bundle. I think I probably paid like £20 for pairs, so about £5 each for the other pairs, and I got about, I can't remember what I got for the other ones, but that doesn't really matter. These are um, uh, pretty hideous shoes I have to say in my personal opinion they're not something I'd ever wear um, they are like these gold these gold shiny gold shoes with like the black uh, heel which is Y3 they're like flat shoes you can see and they are men's um, they're quite worn the um, laces and stuff are all pretty fr like look like they're on uh, death's door here a little bit but they're um yeah, I thought for a Y3, a pair of Y3 shoes, I'm sure somebody will, will want them, so I'll just bang them on eBay. I uh, haven't done yet, which I actually have no idea why I haven't put these on eBay yet, but um, yeah, I will do that soon for bid. Uh, but yeah, these are like size 11, I think. Um, and yeah, you know, it's always cool to get like a Y3 pickup, uh, even if it's not the best one in the world. Um, but anyway, uh, my next item... Oh, Right, my next item is actually this vintage Reebok t-shirt. Um, and this is just a normal plain t-shirt as you can see. Uh, it's got the, this little Reebok patch in the middle. If you can see that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't realise until after I bought it that on the sleeve it has this little uh, dyed, uh, this little like bleach patch here. I mean, it, it doesn't look bad and I mean, you can't, you won't be able to really notice it because it's like on the it'll be like here like on the sleeve and uh, you don't really notice that too much especially because it's oversized and if you wear it with like a, a jumper or something then it's definitely not going to be a problem um but yeah vintage reebok and it is a size extra large um nice little piece gray and i always like the t-shirts that have like the um Oh, what's it called like the tapered hem i don't know if that's exactly what that's called and like on the neck uh, but i think it looks quite nice and it adds quite a nice fit um <clears throat> next item is this uh, um uh, uh, versace this is a versace piece i'm pretty sure i haven't shown this if i have i apologize but i don't think i have um it's like this pink t-shirt you see with like the scripting down the side which says versace i assume um it, it says, I actually have no idea what this says. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, something to do with Versace. And yeah, it's just a nice pink t-shirt with the white uh, going down, as you can see here. Size, it's like a size large, I think. Don't know if this is authentic or not. Uh, at first I thought it was, but I can't be 100% sure. But it will be for to, for cheap anyway, so it's not like 
like I'm gonna rip anyone off. Uh, but yeah, that's a Versace pickup, always nice, even as I said with the wife for it, even if it's not the best piece. Uh, this next pickup is a vintage feeler jacket. I actually got this ages and ages ago. Um, it's like this tennis jacket, I believe. Um, and yeah, so it's feeler, white line, and it's like looks like a tennis theme as you can see it's got like the off-white it's like an off-white color over the green and you've got the pinstripes going down under the arms and down there and then on the cuffs you've got like off-white and green again nice little uh, jacket not my style but i'm sure somebody will like it got a little feeler patch there um and it is a size extra large if that will focus in there but probably not because my head's in the way but uh yeah extra large nice little come up and i actually have one very similar to this which should be in the next video um yeah pretty much the same as this just different colorway different style uh, and then my final piece of today's episode is a very very nice pickup indeed i got this ages ago and i have worn it loads um i think i'm it might be time for me to get rid of it though just because um I don't know really i've worn it loads and it used to be like my car booting jacket but um i don't know might get rid of it it's like this it's a puffer coat it's a vintage nike puffer coat and i really really like this old patch you know you see it on some stuff i've got uh, a t-shirt and stuff before which has it on i think it looks really nice it's like all gray as you can see and then down the sleeves you've got this black stripe uh, it's got a really nice hood on it. It's very, very, very warm because it's like a puffer coat, um, and it's like a it's a bit longer, which is nice because it means like you know the wind doesn't come up the coat. Um, it's a size uh, large, yeah, and it fits me really, really nicely. But as I said, like well, I don't know if I said this, but I I might sell it because I'm not sure if I am going to get enough wear out of it. Um, as I just kind of wear pretty simple coats if I wear a coat, uh, but yeah really nice i have just washed it because um for some reason it had some like weird marks on it but um that was just from from me wearing it it had some just strange marks that i must have just like put my arm on something but it's all sorted now nothing no flaws at all on this really really nice coat um so yeah if you're interested stay tuned on my depop as it might be featuring very soon Anyway guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new, of course. Really, really want to hit uh, 300 subs by the end of the year. That would be crazy. Uh, or even the end of the month. Like, But I mean, that's a bit of an ask considering it is the 21st as I'm recording this. I don't know when this will go out. Hopefully tonight. Um, I'm going to try and up, up my, um, my work ethic for youtube and try and get more videos out at least two a week uh, because i feel really bad slacking it just doesn't like it feels shit so yeah anyway guys i'll catch you later see ya bye